Tonight, three more convictions in the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Today, a jury in Jackson found the three defendants guilty for their role in the foiled plan. Fox News' Charlie Langton joins us in the studio with reaction from the governor herself. Charlie, what did she say? Well, I'll tell you what, the governor was, uh, we got, we caught up with the governor, but you know, what's interesting here is that the jury was only out for about six hours. When a jury is out for six hours, that almost automatically means guilty. And that's exactly what it was in a Jackson County courtroom today. Three defendants, three charges, all guilty, guilty on everything, supporting a plot to kidnap the governor, gang charges and weapons charges. But we did catch up with the governor since she was front and center in this case. And here's what she said. Personally, I, I feel a sense of relief. I think more importantly, though, as a nation, for our democracy, it is crucial that people who uh, make violent threats and violent plans to hurt their fellow Americans need to be held accountable. And I think that this is really important for a lot of reasons. And Attorney General Dana Nessel, whose office tried the case, said these were really bad individuals. There are people who called themselves domestic terrorists, uh, who engaged in really hero worshiping for the likes of people like Timothy McVeigh and uh, the Taliban and Al Qaeda. And from an independent journalist who has sat through every single Whitmer kidnapping trial, says that the judge prevented the defendants from arguing entrapment. After being told that they could not consider an entrapment argument by uh, Judge Thomas Wilson and there was a lot of evidence that the jury was precluded from uh, knowing about in this case that if they were to have uh, known about, I don't know if they would have reached the same verdict. The, but the jury certainly could have reached the same verdict. One word about entrapment now. Entrapment is a question for the judge. And before the jury trial, the judge had a hearing to see if there was enough evidence that the jury should be told about entrapment. The judge concluded, no, therefore, the defendants cannot argue entrapment. Okay, should that end it? No, that'll probably go up on appeal somewhere down the line. Now, sentencing real quick. Sentencing will take place December 15th. Here's the kicker here. Very interesting. Be, be, be provide material support. They're not charged with kidnapping the governor or a, attempting to kidnap, providing support. That's a 20 year felony. But because they were convicted of being in a gang, the Wolverine Watchmen, that militia, that's the gang, that's also a 20 year felony. But it runs consecutive. So, meaning that at sentencing, the judge will sentence the, these three defendants to uh, providing support up to 20 years. They'll complete that sentence, and then they're going to be sentenced another perhaps up to 20 years, and then two more years because they were convicted of a weapons charge. Lots of time in this case. Roop? Charlie, how viable is an appeal in this case, and on what grounds do you think an attorney can, can come forth with something like that? Entrapment, I think that will be the issue that the jury probably should have been given what they call a different jury instruction to say that really it wasn't them, these three, that came up with the idea. It was the government's witnesses, which was kind of the argument they used in federal court. Did it work? Uh, no, it really did not work. So. Listen, they can appeal. Maybe they can appeal the sentence if it's quite long. We'll see that in December. Uh, but the bottom line here, I think, I think this one's going to stand. And by the way, one last thing. We're not done with these Governor Whitmer uh, kidnapping cases. The judge in Antrim County, where I was up there, he's still contemplating whether or not to bind five more defendants for trial, uh, over for trial. Uh, that uh, probably will be decided by the end of the year. We'll see. We've got another trial coming up next year, probably. And in less than two months, we'll find out what that sentencing looks like for these three suspects. All right, uh, Charlie Langton, Forest Live, thank you. Thank you.